you know, um, uh, 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 well, well, and imagine, over. okay, fine. <laughs> well, well, well I, I mean, imagine if the people, like, instead of saying Pluto was not part of the, the solar system, uh, like, imagine if Neptune was not part of the solar system, or Saturn was not part of the solar system. I mean, do you think people would, would, would react differently, or do you think that this is a special case vis-a-vis uh, -vis Pluto? Excellent question. I think it's a special case vis-a-vis -vis Pluto, uh, <laughs> because uh, Pluto, there's this, like, Disney plutocracy, where uh, Pluto the dog, which was first sketched the same year Pluto the cosmic object was discovered, they each have the same tenure in the hearts and minds of Americans. Europeans didn't care that we were considering demoting Pluto. Americans cared and have a file folder of hate mail from third graders to test us. So, it is definitely a cultural phenomenon, and if we were to downgrade Neptune, no one would have cared. It's Pluto, it's the underdog of the solar system, the littlest one, people were cheering for the littlest one, but it had to come in all along. Last question of the night. So my question is about the um, Ultra Hubble Deep Field image. Yes. And my question is, with relativity and the expansion of the universe, what's happening 180 degrees away from the other angle that we took the Hubble Deep Field image? Are we seeing the same universe, or the same galaxies? Are we seeing different galaxies? Excellent. So the amazing photo that the Hubble telescope took enabled by the handy repairs of this gentleman. Yeah. We keep, found keep holding the handle off the thing. <laughs> a screwdriver, right? <laughs> so we look out, we find a, what we think is a very uninteresting patch of sky, where there are no stars in our own galaxy to get in the way. And we take the Hubble telescope, open up its shutter, and just stare for hours and hours and hours. And we accumulate that light. Are we high at the time? Where are we <laughs> the camera stares. And we accumulate the very weak light signals. And as the weak light signals, as you stare longer, long enough, the weak signal becomes stronger and stronger in your detector. And so the dimmest things in the universe reveal themselves. And it's called the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. Right. There was a previous image called the Hubble Deep Field. We said, now that we know how to do it, let's go ultra. So an ultra deep field, and it is one patch of sky, one one hundredth the area of the full moon in one direction in the universe. And so you might say, and, and you see like a gazillion, gazillion, gazillion galaxies in this picture. This one pack, postage stamp on the night sky. And you might, and so you can say, I'm looking at this small area, and there's this many galaxies. Let me multiply it by every possible one of these directions. I get a count for how many galaxies in the universe. You get about 50 to 100 billion. So you might say, well, how do I know that? Maybe this direction is completely different. Maybe 180 degrees is different. Maybe this direction is the same as that direction in a looped, unfolded universe. We've actually done that experiment. So there's a Hubble deep field. you read my mind. There's a Hubble deep field north, and we went 180 degrees, and went a Hubble deep field south. And it is statistically indistinguishable from Hubble Deep Field North, giving us the confidence that our inferences from this one direction, doubled up in a completely opposite direction, gives us a representative sample of what any direction we'd look like would, would reveal in the universe. And we look for pattern recognition. Is their pattern the same? Could it be the same but flipped? Left, right, up, down? You can do an image analysis, it is different. The universe does not loop back on itself. It is a one-way expansion because of this force field called Fred. And, <laughs> in the, and the Hubble Deep Field is, in fact, probing the universe on scales never before seen that will soon be surpassed by the James Webb Space Telescope. Woo!